Hey y'all, all right, before I put this up in my antique area, I wanted to show everybody this quick set cylinder deadlock from probably like the 1970s era. And it is interesting. This is a 485 double cylinder dead bolt. Now missing most of the shroud and everything, but what's important is still here. And if we flip the box around, we'll notice that one side says 680 with steel reinforcing ring, steel cylinder guard. That would be this style with the heavy guard ring, the heavy steel uh, inner shield there for the inside and if it had a double cylinder, this is a single cylinder, which would be the 680. 685 would have been the double, but it has a much heavier heft to it if you've ever rekeyed a quick set an old from an older house and notice the significant difference in the weight. That's what the heavier duty was. And these boxes were designed to, I guess, be turned around. Like if it was a 680, you would stock it on the shelf this way. And if it was the 480, which this one was, cause it's 485, you would stock it that way. So that probably led to a lot of confusion if it got turned around. So most likely, likely they were stocked with this facing out. So that is a little bit interesting, $14.80 at the time. Again, it's probably from the 70s. Now, if we look at the box real close before we look at the lock, we'll see it's a quick set, a division of Imhart Corporation in California. So when many of us think of Imhart, we think of these wonderfully bad boys. Yes, when you think of Imhart, this is probably the first thing that comes to mind. The horribly awesome, horrible, M heart cylinders, which of course are no longer in existence, but they have the angled cuts, teeth things on bottom. These were kind of one of the most awesome US locks made, some would say. Some others would say the most horrible ones made. <laughs> but anyway, that is not about M hearts, that is about Quickset M heart. Quickset M heart is unique in. Number one, the latch, instead of the normal quick set having a through type post, one side was male, the other side's female, they go into each other just like quick set nowadays. This one was solid post, which assuredly was a problem when you had to fit it to a short door. Even though the latch sticks out a little bit like this, you would still have to trim it and Back when these were made, it wasn't exactly like you could grab your 18 volt whatever and chop it off. So these were probably had to be chopped off with a hand hacksaw. But the more interesting th thing to note about this is the cylinders. You would think it's just a quick set. However, it is not. It is actually a Corbin CO87 1001EH and that is pretty interesting in a quick set lock. You do not see these very often. These were probably only made for a short time and probably only made to match up maybe with a building that used Corbin locks on the outside doors and they were trying to make it so they could key the interior like the apartments because this box actually does mention apartments, greater home and apartment security. So, I'm taking a wild guess maybe that they did that for those types of buildings. But we're going to go ahead and take it apart. I've taken one of these apart before, and there's really nothing special on it. But since we're doing a video on it, I will note the differences. If you take the tailpiece or the clip off, one thing you'll notice is it's on the bottom. The other thing you'll notice it's... Uh, harder to get off. I'm going to grab my circlip to spread them equally. Let's push it off here. Now that looks like a clip for common quick set knobs. Most deadbolts had that center post coming out of it. And this actually looks like what it would go on the doorknob. So I guess during that time, maybe they were trying to reduce inventory or reduce stock by using the same clips. And this 
is, oh, sorry about that camera, fixed in there. You, you would think it would just pop right out. It may come out if you pried it or tried to, or I don't know what the case would be if that would broke. I'm not gonna attempt to pry this off, but presumably if somehow that broke, you would want to replace it. I'll have to check in one of my old kits, but I don't think I've seen the replacement this type of tailpiece, but I'll look. Anyway, going back to the keyway, it is built the same as these old quick sets where once you take the core out, the housing will come out the other way. So we're gonna go ahead and shim this one real quick just to take a look and see what kind of pins they are inside. See if there was anything added security wise. Okay, that was five, four on the shim, three. Oh, went back to four and then three. And come on, two. Two. These obviously have been in the box for a long time, so. Oh, there we go. We got a we got a turn. Alright. You can leave the shim in here when you follow it out. It's probably advisable, but uh, can I'll, I'll leave it in there since it's already in there. Normally, I don't leave shims in unless I know there's something going on, which very rarely in the locksmith world do you run up on that. All right, so it looks like nickel silver, which would have been pretty common back then, bottom pins. And interesting to note, they are not quick set. They have a flat top, whereas the quick set ones would have been kind of a double bevel. And those are all just standard nickel silver pins. Well, we can zoom in here in a second. And uh, again, once I took the core out, this housing will come out and uh, we'll just go ahead now these have really short lightweight springs on them too very thin wire so they're lightweight uh, that was one two three with a sticky spring four and five so they are all standard pins inside upper and lower but do have very very lightweight springs and this cap is the exact same style cap that quickset still uses i wonder how many of those have been made so anyway that is just an interesting little look at a quickset corbin core quickset Quick Corbin, quick Corbin. What do you think, quick Corbin? <laughs> Unfortunately, I do not have a full deadbolt. I would like to mount that. Maybe I can scavenge, yeah, I might be able to scavenge some better quality, better looking parts from another one and build it out to mount it. But otherwise, it's going in storage. I just wanted to give y'all a look at a Corbin. Quick set. All right, quick set with a Corbin keyway. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Y'all have a great one. If you have any questions or comments, as always, leave them in the comment section.